Thank you for joining me today. I have been asked to put this trim around a new cover for this cushion. So let's get on with it. When you have a cording, there is a right and wrong side. The right side is where the cording has been sewn onto the flange and where it comes up at the back is the wrong side. So I'm gonna put right side together like this and go halfway down. I always join my piping on the side. Now if I was to be using an industrial machine and not my domestic I would actually have my cording foot on but I'm going to just pop it on first off like this to hold it because I don't want it slipping and I am going to sew all the way around the first time. Cut in not too far over, just a few snips like this. So I'm going to keep it straight to start off with until I get to where I want to turn it. Which is about there. And round it into position. And then I'm going to go all the way across the bottom here. And on round to where I started. So I've got to where I started. I'm going to come over a generous inch like that and cut it undo the stitching from here only the stitching you don't need to undo anything else I think that's where I want it to go maybe one more and unwind these like that so I've got them in a row pop that on top but not level you kind of bring it down a little bit and I'm going to sew that into place so that's that side in place okay so now I'm going to undo this side a little ways like this kind of keep an eye of where I'm taking it to because I want to match it up this is a, quite a soft cording again I'm going to pull that back and this one here is the last one that matches up so I'm going to take that and unroll it too so I've got one two and that one there three if I push them up into there they match. Pop that down like that, just like I did on the other side. Slide this under the zipper foot. I'm using a universal zipper foot because you're not going to get the one that goes with the machine close enough. Put that down and sew across. Make sure that's not high enough. And in a straight line. From the front it looks a little bit bulky but I think that'd be fine. They're a little bit awkward to get in sometimes but as long as it looks like it just carries on going around and in keeping nobody will ever know that's where the join is. Now I've just changed the foot to my quarter inch cording foot and I am going to pop this back on here. Normally I would go all the way around with the cording foot if it was on an industrial machine. But I've found that when I'm doing it on a domestic machine, it's better to go with the zipper foot first. This is where the zip is going to go in. So I'm going to just snug it in with my cording foot along the bottom here. If you don't have a cording foot, then you're just gonna have to go along here and snug up as far as you can when you put the back on, which I'm going to do in a minute to make sure that not too much of the back of the cording, this, this little ridge shows, but it's quite difficult. Now I'm lucky that this is a soft cording, some of them are more rigid, so a more rigid one won't do this very easily. And I'm going to make my way to the other end. Now the fabric I'm using has a rubberized back, so I want to make sure I can sew it. So I'm gonna use silicone, just a little bit there and a little bit there for now so I can get started. I am going to make sure my ends are on each other there. Bring that in, pop it down on there, and I'm going to sew probably about two to three inches. Make sure, although it doesn't look like it, that the foot is down and engaged. And reverse. I hate reversing. They sometimes break the needles. Then pop it on the other end. Just the same, make sure that both ends are there and underneath. So now I will forward and reverse and all the way to the end. Well, when I say all the way to the end, to about there when it starts going around the corner. I'm just trying to get this on here. Let's push it up and see what happens. It's one tooth too many on this side at the top. If you're unsure, pull it down 
And if both sides look more or less even, it's right. If one side looks more loopy than the other, then you got it wrong. No, that's right. I'm going to sew across the top there and the bottom there so that I've got a stopper on the end because these are continuous zipping. I'm going to put a zip in, pop that under here like that, forward and back. And keeping the edges all together, I'm going to just go down here like this. Make sure you pull the teeth away from where the needle is going down. Put that down, foot up, and I'm going to very carefully push the zip the other way, avoiding the thread and avoiding the trim on the other side because you don't want to wreck that. Push that all the way back, lower the foot, and then carry on sewing down to the end. Finish off by going backwards and forwards. There we go. I'm just making my way down. I've got the fold in to where the trim is there and sewing this second side of the zip into place. Now I'm almost at the bottom, so I want to make sure that they finish at the same point. Fold it in, hold that down like that, and then pull the other end to make sure it's even. And so, little bit to remember but worth it if you don't want to have any lumps and bumps at the other end. While I'm there, pop that down there so it's nice and even, so the zip itself is nice and even. Needle down, foot up, open your zip, there we go. Guide the slider through and foot down, refold all of this in and sew to the end. And just as you did at the beginning, Reverse over your stitches and finish up. Line the back up under here as closely as to where I finished sewing a short while ago and a little way back because I really don't want to have a gap there. Need that nice and even. Spray with silicone spray if you need to. With my fingers I'm pushing the trim towards the back as I come round and the tapping the needle hitting the top of there because everything is very high now. Pinch the ends together, pull the fabric out so it's taut like that and then sew into position. Okay, I'm coming into the top, make sure everything is lined up again. Still keep it a little bit taut if you can. Quickly spray, push that towards the back and then pull it into position. Again, hold on to the two pieces there, pull the fabric taut against each other, and sew into position. So I'm coming around to the third side, spray that through, and then ease that around this corner, and into position. This has the join there, so I'm going to push that over there like that, grab hold of the end and pull that into position too, and then pull it on. As I go over the join, I'm going to keep it taut and then in to the bottom, everything into place and tight and round. Line that up. I'm going to flip it over, just put a little bit of spray over the join, slide it back underneath like that, and then sew back over the join, keep it, keeping the fabric tight. Trim back the excess like that. Cut that back a little bit on all four sides. Not too much. Open the cover. Be careful when you do so that you don't pull any threads in the trim. And then turn it the right way around. This is the side the join was in. You really can't see what I did. And this is the other side, so there's really no difference in them. Thank you for joining me today with this little project. I actually know my friend's going to be delighted with these because I've already done a few for her. But I hope that I was able to impart some useful information on how to join at the side. And this is the side that I did it on. And you really cannot tell which side it was joined. If the trim is a little bit too rigid, the good point about it is it's easier to line up and join like this but the unfortunate thing is you might not be able to use a cording foot on your domestic machine so just bear that in mind and if that's the case when you put the back on use the universal 
zipper foot and just snug it up as much as you can and you might need to go around, tip it over and go around again a couple of times just to get it as close as you can to the cording. It's not impossible, it's just awkward. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe, hit the bell button and a few thumbs up would be brilliant. And in the meantime, take care. See you later. Ciao.